welcome back to Stephanie Reacts to a Bureau of Magical Things. Or sorry, the Bureau of Magical Things. This is season two, <coughs> episode two. A danger, a danger, a dangerous secret. Look at it right third time. Last week's episode, I didn't like. She showed you <coughs> something at the start, then it jumped a wee bit, then it got bent back, then it showed you it again. So, I'm hoping it's not with this one, this episode. Like I said, I love this programme, but I loved season one. But I'm hoping, you know, <coughs> show me a bit at the start, then you go back like two days before, then you get to that part again during the halfway through the ep episode. I just hope <coughs> you get new content like all through it. I'm hoping. But I'm guessing, unlike the last season, there were like different kind of episodes. Even if I saw like the one big story kind of thing, it was like the Kyra, the Power, and the Orb and <coughs> But we had like different magical things appearing, like the chair, the suit of armor and all that. So in this, We've seen like a magic frog with a painting last episode was they caught it in a sheet of paper. I'm hoping it's like a different magic item or something. And it ended with Kyra getting caught by these two fairies, I think they are. I don't think they're elves, I think they're fairies. She's been caught by. So, let's jump into this and we'll see how Kyra gets out of this then. Oh. Let's jump in here, starting now. Now here we go. Now here we go. Myra! Why are you chasing me? I'm not a thief. I, I haven't done anything. You disappeared from my house. What am I going to tell her father? She's dead. <laughs> Please, you're coming with us. No, no, this isn't right. I shouldn't even be here. I should be at a sleepover. Not interested. No, no, you don't understand. Hey. What's going on? Why were you in Bangkok? What were you doing there? I didn't ask you to come after me. You think I planned a midnight trip to Thailand in my pajamas? You know my old magic always reacts when you're in trouble. <clears throat> Kyra, yeah. I'm so worried about you. <laughs> you hobgoblin. Whoa. What have you been up to? It's a long story, sis. Well? You know, from the intro, the giant snake he found appears in our school. So the purple tentacles kidnapped you to Thailand, and Dara won't say why? All I know is it's got something to do with some fairy, huh? Well, Kyra has a few magical secrets of her own. <clears throat> Ooh, it's a fairy? I just haven't seen something before. Enjoy! Imogen, fairies have good ears too. Hmm. Speaking of the professor, where is he? Question. Professor? Oh, I thought you meant to go maybe to Ireland. Maybe go through that one of the islands. Oh, oh, oh. Is it just a toy ladder? Can the professor? Well, not a bad job if I don't say so. Huh? Professor? Where did he go? I'm right here. How did you do that? Chang's mirror. Chang was a Chinese smuggler elf who created this 400 years ago. Would you do it in To fool it? customs officers. Certainly fooled me. How does it work? Oh, you look into the mirror and an exact double appears. It's temporary, but it should give you enough time to ward off those pesky customs agents. Should you ever have that problem? All right. Why is all this stuff here? Oh, it's not just, just stuff, Dara. 
These are valuable magical treasures stolen over centuries by unscrupulous plunderers. I'm cataloging like these so they can be identified and returned to their rightful homes. I would appreciate some assistance whenever you can spare a moment. Of course, Professor. Happy to help. Do swear to uphold the laws of the DMI and seek a united future where magical and non-magical beings can live together in harmony. When did this happen? While you were away, doing whatever it was that you won't talk about. We are officially attached to the Department of Magical Intervention. We get access to the current list of magical outbreaks and choose which ones we handle. Would you like to join the Bureau, Dara? No. A kitty club? No, thank you. You were really rude. I know. It was dumb. What's going on? I yell people. I can't. You got me involved. Roxy? Present. Imogen? Present, obviously. Kyra? Present. Thank you. you know present. And Lily? Present. That's everyone. I hereby call the weekly meeting of the Bureau of Magical Things to order. Yeah. Hang on, we can't start without Peter. Works for me. Just zap him here. Okay, coming. He's in the bookshop. Hey, everyone. What yeah. I miss? Yeah. interesting. More graffiti has been coming to life. Like that frog yesterday? Correct. There's a map of the affected areas. Uh -huh. Ow! So bad does he come back and bite us? Like, will he own it? So he has head? I've been thinking about your future, Dara. Sounds serious? Mm -hmm. I? You're barely scraping through. You know, I'm going to do better this year. You've said that before. Dad, I don't want this. You don't know what you want. We'll work together. You'll learn the ropes. I've worked for years building my business, Dara. You'll help me carry it on. It's always about you, isn't it? What you want is never about what I want. It was the same old story. In Dad's eyes, I was never going to measure up. I needed to get away, so I jumped south and ended up on this beach. That was where I met Arun. Hello there! Arun's the name. Purveyor of fine antiquities. Can I interest you in a watch? Very old, very nice. Not interested. Ah, I understand. That was when he showed me his ears. Arun was an elf? Selling trinkets on a beach in Thailand. I should have walked away right then. Smart young elf like you wants something special. What is that? Have you heard of the Temple of the Purple Lotus? He's to the temple. When you get close to one, the sphere will glow. Find the keys, locate the temple, and everyone in the magical world will know your name. This place is so amazing. Then how come you haven't? Ah, oh, I came close once. But there are other people looking for it too. People I would not care to meet again. So now it's time to hand the quest over to someone younger. Someone who wants to show the world what they can do. Ten thousand baht. Two thousand. <laughs> Ridiculous. There are many who would pay ten times what I'm asking. Eight thousand. Yeah, Four thousand. <laughs> Take it or leave it. See ya. Okay. Girl, oh, you drive a hard bargain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rune sounds like a con man. I thought that too. But the sphere works. I've seen it. Go to the Golden Palace Markets. The sphere will guide you from there. Well, I don't even know how it... 
I found the Golden Palace markets. Just like a room set. The sphere led me to that warehouse. And the key is there. I'm sure of it. I've never been on a stakeout before. Shall we keep watch from? Anywhere you like. Uh, Lily, you keep watch. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Bathroom break? What should I do while you're gone? Try to look inconspicuous. I can do that. Where are you going? Get on your blind, are you? I think Arun was telling the truth. No, what was that? The Temple of the Purple Lotus is real. Maybe, but is it worth the risk trying to find it? Those guards meant business. The Temple of the Purple Lotus is a lost part of magical history, and those people are trying to keep it hidden. I need to find those keys. They all go you mean steal them? Those people in Bangkok took that statue from its rightful place. It doesn't belong to them. Like Maxwell said, they're plunderers. So you do listen to the professor. Finding this temple would restore a lost chapter of magical history. I'd be doing the magical world a huge favor. And at the same time, gain a whole lot of respect. Uh, and prove to my father that I'm not a loser. And that's why I'm going back tonight to get the key. And nobody else needs to know about it, okay? Where do your wings go when you're not flying? Uh, nowhere. They just appear when I want them. How does that work? I don't ever think about it. It's like walking. You just learn how to do it. It's funny. No one's ever asked me that before. Um, what's she doing? Let's see your ears. How dare you? This is a community art project, and I'm here to add my art. And I think I will start right here. Oh, ha -ha. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Wrong man. I'm guessing that's the new data then. I think going back to that warehouse tonight is a mistake. You can't talk me out of it, Kyra. I'm not trying to. We should go now, in broad daylight. We'll catch them off guard. We? You don't think I'm letting you do this on your own? I had no idea you were so sneaky. <laughs> sneaky is my middle name. Kyra, <laughs> So? You may have moved the snake. Hey, don't move! you wanted partners <laughs> <laughs>
The key is gone. That's not possible. No one has ever been able to work out how to get it. Someone has now. Is a dangerous secret, and I don't know if I'm recording. I'm gonna check if I'm recording. Back in a second. Yes, I'm recording. So just make sure I press the button. I don't know if it never flashed to make sure it's recording or whatever. <clears throat> but like I said, that's a dangerous secret. We got a wee bit of a tiny backstory when we had Dara got the orb thing for him. I thought it was Tyra's orb he had, but it wasn't. <clears throat> Just the other kind of orb then. And I know it's no Tyra's orb, but I know Tyra's got orb magic, <clears throat> so I thought I was calling it Tyra's orb. But the new fairies in it, and the new elves No, we see, with that guy that gave Tara the orb for 4,000 bar, I think it was, around 10,000. But Dara tried haggling with him, and the haggling worked, because after they said four, the guy said no, Dara was about to walk away. And he really, he really wanted to give that orb away somehow. But I'm guessing Dara's glad he wasn't a con man. Because if he was, he just gave away 4,000. Don't know how much that is, UK money, or US money, I don't. But... <clears throat> I'm guessing it might be a lot. And who are these two fairies? And I think a fairy is chasing Tara all the time. And who's this guy who says he's supposed to be in Shanghai? And at the end of it, he knows the key's missing somehow? Ah, it's weird. Maybe he's got no maybe he's got strong magic. No, like Kyra, but maybe you can throw magic in like sense. The key's missing somehow. But now we've got Kyra and Dara teaming up to get all three keys. So, I'm going to guess this whole season is probably about them two finding the temple. Maybe. And restoring the relics, as Dara says, back to the magical community. <coughs> and. That new fairy last time we saw in the kitchen kind of thing or the coffee shop place. Why did she reveal herself to Imogen only? <clears throat> so I don't know if Lily or Kyra knows she's a fairy, but she, uh, pure, she let Imogen know and she, and she used Imogen's name. So that either means Imogen knows her or she's been listening in to people calling her Imogen. That's why she knows her name. But she made a frog picture on her coffee. Have we been getting frog pictures show up and drawn? Could she be our culprit? He's leaving these magic items, like magic creatures, on the paintings and they can come alive. If she is, why is she doing this for? Is she, does she want to maybe join the school? And she maybe try to get Lily and all that attention? Maybe? See, like, she knows Imogen's an elf. But maybe to see if Lily or Kyra are magic creatures also. But come on, Peter. He abused the old woman. He did. I mean, I mean, no, no, abused. Harassed the old woman, sorry. Harassed her. So, you, are you a fairy? You're an elf? Ah, uh, you're an elf. They put a, her, a heart off. Oh, yeah. Oh, and she wasn't an elf. She's just a human being. Wants to draw on a public art wall. So she says, "Cause that, I'll be cute my first art." And she started dabbing Peter with paint. <laughs> oh, that's good. Dish, 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 dish. You see, Professor Maxwell got a new part of the library opened. The Asia part, or South. Pac I don't know if he says the South Pacific. South Pacific. Part or no, I don't know if you say but I know it's, it's an Asian part of the library is opened. And as we saw too, Kyra and Dara stole the magic mirror that the professor was used the professor used to trick them. So it was a good thing they did steal it though. 
because you get caught. But that will lead the two theories there. But we've got a bit of backstory with Dara and his father too. His father wants Dara to work for him. Like, why does? We don't, and, and so far in the UK, what I've known, fathers don't mind if their sons work for them or not. They don't say, I want you to work for me. Fathers don't, they don't, don't do that. But every American TV program I've seen, they've always seen like fathers asking their sons to come work for me. I don't know if it's an American thing or not. Or is it just American TV shows that do it? A theoretical typical thing. But if Dara wants to work in the DMI, then let him work for the DMI. Don't call him stupid. His father never used those words, stupid. But just says like you're not smart enough. You don't got the grades up and all that. <coughs> so basically basically it's like calling him stupid. This was a good episode, this was better than last week's one. So, aye everyone, I'm going to check what the next episode's called, because I've not got the episodes wrote down yet. The Bureau of Magical Things, Season 2. Please came back from a search. Right. Hope I don't get any spoilers. I'm just about to check what the episode's called. Main cast? Right. Yeah. The next episode's called Fortunes Compact. Right, I'll close this now so I don't get any spoilers. Fortune Compact. Compact means small. The compact mirror. Something. Fortune, maybe, maybe like a fortune teller, or maybe they find like a globe thing, like one of these fortune balls. They have, and because it's small, it is, sits on the table and it's small, maybe they have something to do with the next key, maybe. I doubt they find the whole three keys in the first couple of episodes. And if they do, then they've got maybe all the other episodes to find the temple, maybe. But, yeah. I don't, know if, I don't know if I had the right copy or not of this, but I felt like they were, this was recorded, like, via, via adverts kind of thing. She kept showing me the Bureau of Magic, Bureau Magical Things picture two or three times, like, end of break and all that, and then it restarted. So I don't know if that's, can I, the first episode never had it, but this episode did. But anyway... I'm guessing maybe the be all thing Dallas got that could be maybe the fortune compact. Then have the fortune teller. This is fortune compact. A small fortune maybe. Maybe. Or they might be trying to describe or decipher with the keys all about where they found the goat. Ah, that'll be for next week, everyone. So thank you for watching this reaction. Don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe, and I'll see you for Fortune Compact. Till then, bye everyone.